wall. You are now live with the Humble Prince of Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. Yeah, and we're back live with the Humble Prince Sahara FM Radio like we never even left. Guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm getting all your Facebook um, inbox messages and your tweets. And um, we're going to ask about... Um, Bookie's relationship status towards the end of the show. <laughs> Is it being oh, a whole lot of people, people are inquiring? These, these inquiring dudes are, minds want yeah. to know. Yeah. Inquiring but right minds now, want to know. Um, again, I'm joined by my co-host extraordinaire, actor, <laughs> writer, and producer, E.B. Manzik. Thank you so much. And of course, international model, Eva Bacola Toby. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys are having fun. This, oh, this is by far blast. one of the best shows I ever had, man. The, thank the you most so much. fun I've had without liquor. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> fantastic. So let's talk oh. about. Um, so, Ibi, you're from. You're Ethic, right? I'm Ethic. Okay. I was raised in Calabar, Cross okay. River. Come and live and be at peace. Okay. That's our. So there's this I myth that. Oh, or be at rest, actually. Come and live and be at rest. Okay. That's the acronym for Calabar. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Well, there's this myth that once you go, that Calabar women are like number one in Nigeria. They know how to take care of um, men Witness. in the kitchen. They know how to cook. And yes. their bed Maddox yes. is out of this world. They know how to move. And yes. they know how to do all yes. that. They, mm. you, know, <laughs> uh, you guys don't swing from poles, do you? Stereotypes. From- stere- no, I'm not Mimi Faust. I don't swing from shower <laughs> We're going to talk about that, too. Yeah, we will talk about but, that. Okay, oh. so... What, what, what is the myth and how did it start? I know they said they start training you guys from like five. Please. Yes, run. man. It me. It's me. so yeah. annoying. I even had, and I'm not going to mention her name, a renowned, very renowned Nigerian actress and I on set talking and she actually said this to me. She's like, oh yeah, I heard when you guys are five, they train you guys how to take care of a man. And I'm like, at five? Really? I mean... Who's training Five. us? Pedophiles? You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Now, yes, ethnic women or, or girls or whatever right. are taught how to take care of a home. How to nurture your man. How to know, exactly. How to know how to speak to your man. Mm. Because, you know, for instance, when I was 13, when I was 13, my grandmother said to me, she's like, you know, you're going to get married one day, and when you do, this your nya 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 is not gonna work. Hmm. She she said to me when I'm, if no matter how annoyed your husband makes you, when he comes through that door, let him put his, you know, suitcase or whatever yeah. down or portmanteau like she said. Put it down. Let him step inside his home. Make him something nice to eat. Then you bring up whatever it is. Women, your are issue you paying is. attention to this? You shit? know. So those are the things I was taught. We say, this is how we say Nefik. That means you have to it know how to, how to speak to your husband in a manner that makes him listen to you. Exactly. You know? So that's right. the thing. And then, yes, we are known for our cooking. We're known for our hospitality. And we're taught right. how to be charming. Right. Okay. They, we know all that. What now, about the bed magic? The bed magic yeah. thing, I don't know where that came from. You know, and I've had people say to me, oh, I've heard that, you know, ethnic women can go at it for 12 hours. Wow. And I'm like, wow. I don't think anybody can that's go a, at it for 12 that's hours. That's a marathon right there. That's Again, a- it's not about <laughs> the sex, the act of the sex. It's the foreplay before, which is being charming. To your man oh. creating a home that is peaceful oh. creating a home that is inviting okay. and how you treat your in-laws all those things come into play oh, so if God. your man is happy with that. the cooking if your mm-hmm. man comes home to a peaceful right. house the bedmatic automatically because is I, going to be wonderful i could imagine because they say guys that marry um Ethic, ethic women. women, they never leave. They never leave their wives. Listen, let me tell you, there Come must on. be some some kind of uh, method to the madness right. there. So, and you guys don't use medicine or juju or voodoo and or anything. That, no, <laughs> right. I mean the thing is that Once you go again, ethic, you never it's come back. it's it's not about juju and it's not about you know what whatever right. extra stuff you're doing. The extra that we do is knowing how to be hmm. careful, knowing how to. Hey. Talk to your husband from the heart. And another thing that ethnic women are renowned for is we let our man be boss. When he's out there, but he knows 
who running things when we get home. And that, but sure. we're not going to put our husband out there and, and run things. We're not those kind of women to be See? wanting to wear the pants. We'll let you wear the pants. But best believe, no decision is made out of this house without my Dude, let's get this woman factoring this, in on it. Let's with the young love, Oprah, all of them. It's this true. is the best Shout relationship out. advice you could get right here, man. Yeah, right there. You can still remain a woman in your home, yeah. but let a man be a man it's in true. his home. Fantastic. I the always say that it's like driving a car. I'll let my husband drive the car, but if you're going towards a ditch, best believe, boo, I'm turning that wheel over. Fantastic. But in the meantime, I'm going to let you drive. Yeah. Um, Bookie, you hmm. want to just add to that? Um, or you were just paying attention? I was, because I'd never heard of this before. So I, I'm learning so, that they were mm -hmm. like, child, once you go, growing up, I, like epic I said, or growing Calabon, up, one you of our, never go back? Yeah. Growing oh, up, one of our okay. house girls was from Calabar, man. And, you know, anyway, anyway let's go to the next yeah. topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but thank you it's for sharing that. It's about the charm. Exactly. It's about the hospitality. So it's not a myth. So it's. It's, it, it, it's, it's the way it is stereotyped that annoys me. Okay. Like when a man would see me and he knows I'm from Calabar, when I was single, mm -hmm. they would automatically. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're from hey. Calabar. Yeah. And they're giving me that look like, ah, oh, you're from Calabar. Wow. Hey. Yeah. yeah and, and that's what I find annoying because we are more than Man, what just, goes on in the bedroom. Just more than great sex. Yes. Oh, so right. that's what, oh. Yes. What but, brings about the great huh? sex is how we treat you before right. we get there. So but once your man feels like he's the king, right. man, the sex going to feel great. Yeah. But, you know, but let's not, you know, <laughs> so guys, you know, um, if you can't, I mean, so women, follow the blueprint yes. from the Calabar woman, man. See? <laughs> follow it if you want to keep your man. That's Real right. quick, let's talk about this, um, Mimi Faust Child. sex tape. And just to clear that she's not Nigerian, guys. I know she had like a little Nigerian name attached to her and everything, but she's not Nigerian. Ooh, okay. You know. I don't yeah, I saw something on um the Young Black and Fabulous website yeah. and some guy was like, Oh, she's Ni a Nigerian porn no, star. I was get, like, yeah. What? And you know, and that's how Nigerians are. If she if say she won like a Nobel priest pie uh -huh. or something and she even had a Nigerian name. Oh, she's Nigerian, trust me. I, people would be telling, Yeah. I know her parents. They, we, yeah. Her parents live in Nigeria, and you know we live no, on the same street in when Nigeria. It's, when it's the bad stuff, they yeah, want to attach you, it to us. You know, sex tape and everything. No, she's we not, don't know your We ass. don't claim We're you, not Nigerian. Boo. We don't no. claim you, right. Mimi so Faust. What, what, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's on some show called Love and Hip Hop, and to be honest uh, with you, yeah, I never really yeah. followed yeah. her. Yeah, anything, I, but, don't, I didn't either. Only my right. cousin um, got me recently. What did you think about my cousin recently got me watch or like I saw a few of it, so I don't even know who the girl is. Sorry, no shade. But I did see. I do follow that blog and i happen to see uh excerpt of it and i was like oh, again is she trying to go the kim kardashian route yeah well everybody don't get it i'm like but it don't work for, don't work for yeah, everybody kim like. kardashian right now is a wife she's been on she's on the cover of vogue magazine and so, she's a millionaire 32 let, times let me, over. let me educate you boo. but okay okay she's probably gonna when say you gonna are say, white but. and you do a sex tape with a you know negro <clears throat> You know, that might can work for you, especially <laughs> when your dad already had money and you was right. already rolling a circle. Yeah. But when you are black and you do a sex tape, you're just a Negro to have your ass no. out on tape. <laughs> But if anything, you know, I, I, I thought it was funny. It ain't going to take what? you nowhere Maybe but the 99 cents counter. Maybe oh, my goodness. Um, like what? She just had, she reached the sex takes, and then what? She wanted to, like, make money? Well, what's the big deal about it? Um, she lied. I guess, some, I guess she wants to make money. Oh, she, okay. she lied about not leaking the tape, but the thing is no. that Vivid will not release a tape unless they get your consent. Remember when... Um, Pamela... Pamela... Anderson. And, mm -hmm. yeah, right. When she did it, they wanted it. She would not sign over the tape, right. so they couldn't release it. Right. But here's my thing, though. That's not a sex tape. That's a full-blown pornographic Graphic, production. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they sex had tape different is... Yeah. They knew they, they oh. knew what they were doing. And yeah. well. to be honest with you, it's, it's it's sad that this is what our society yeah. has become. <laughs> um, one of my um, friends, and you know, used to be on the show, is actually um, Abby wrote a very good um, post about this on Facebook and saying that you know. How, how is it that we've just drifted from shows like The Cosby Show, like mm -hmm. Martin, See? Um, Golden Girls, Golden Girls, uh, I love Golden uh, Girls, a different world, different mm -hmm. world, right? Now we're watching Love and Hip Hop, and, yeah, and that and that Married in itself to is that oh, in, my, which is so right. That in itself is garbage enough. Then you know, and yep. you know what, and 
if this is, uh, you know. And to do a sex tape to keep yourself relevant on a reality show that people barely watch, that's like ridiculous. Say, yeah. Yeah. And you are a mother. Is. You're she's a mother. A, oh, I was she's just a mother now. Yes. No and she has a daughter. Oh, and she daughter. has a daughter. Close the door. Oh. Yeah. So honestly, th this Lord. is definitely not a good look. Not and, a good look you know, at all. It's not. Really. You know, um, I, and, and one thing, I just hope she's not starting a trend. You know what I'm saying? If you and, and, and again, there there mm -hmm. are women you know that do so porno, trendy. that's their hustle. If you're a pornographic star, if that's what you want to go into, then go ahead. You know, that's what you do. I mean, that's not illegal to do in the United States. That's your hustle and everything. Yeah. But you know, just doing it for the publicity. Yeah. And, you know, and then to try to come in, you know, hold up your dignity dignity on a on the show again. Mm -hmm. And you know, honestly, I you know I So they still on the show? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. I hey, yeah. I don't know the girl from anywhere. That's a but I think my, my thing is the message they're sending yes, out and the young girls course. that are gonna be watching yes, this. Because you know they course. are. Yes. And a lot of young girls are gonna feel like this is cool. Young no. ladies people cool. not. Cool. I repeat. It's not. Yes, look Eva Toby, up to it's Michelle not cool. Obama. <laughs> right. Look up to people like that. Yes. Right. You know, women this, that are make representing us right. in a right and way. This, in, you do in this age of social media, she, do you know how far this is going to tra travel of and course. how traumatizing this might be for her daughter? I mean, yeah. she's going to be yeah. the butt of oh, these jokes and schools yeah. and everything. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. It's just sad. So, um, I don't think she was thinking, and right. she's 41 years old, which is crazy. It's so shameful because if she was like some young 19, 18, you know, like that young girl from um, teen pregnancy of uh, right. Farah Abrams you yeah, know she made one too but she they're saying this one, one might too. even outsell that I'm sure it will yeah, but I can't black, front, though. black folks so, be like did you ratchet see the clip? no I didn't see the clip did no you see the clip? I sure did mm. I did not see she it I skills. don't want to see it I don't want to see Man. it I caught a glimpse and I was like I got enough it's good I'm good no, I watched the whole thing I watched it over and over again not because I wanted to watch it but because I was doing research for the show I wanted to know what's up okay that's another word yeah. <laughs> yeah. So guys, uh, you know, um, <laughs> hey, you know, that's a hustle. I wish you all the best. Anyway, guys, we're gonna yeah. take a break real quick, and when we come back, we're gonna wrap the show up live with the humble prince of Higher FM Radio. Peace. Jonathan, just a minute, please.